Hey everybody, how's it going? Krames here. I know it's been a couple weeks, about two or so since we've done the last video with myself and Amanda doing the spider spawner. Um, yeah, I've been a little busy and a little lazy and whatnot. So, here's the skibby and the skinny. I said I was going to explain what was going to happen, so anyway. Dan, um, it was myself, Dan, Andrew, all had the admin thing. So, uh, Jess was, you know, messing around with creative and whatnot, you know, they were just kind of doing some random things. And I logged in one day, and down here was filled with just random blocks. I think they were spawning Enderman or whatnot, they were just doing some random stuff. So, and I walk outside walk outside and I see this right here just built up and there was a giant bedrock penis on it and I thought it was hilarious but then I was like well crap I'm not restarting the server because this is actually you know we have a lot of cool stuff here so I just said well you know crap about the Cramescraft series um, yeah. So, apparently that got taken care of. So, what we ended up doing is, I'll give you a quick little show around the area here. Um, this is our nope area. This is the nope crab, the mighty nope crab. Uh, we ended up building that. And Amanda ended up building this just before that. And I was gonna, I, I was gonna just let it go. So what what I decided to do was to do a legit area and a creative area. And Andrew and I went through the nether portal that was chilling somewhere else. I think it was like over here. Or no, we went to the nether. Uh, no, actually it's upstairs. I'll show you guys that. It was actually kind of cool. We, we went through the nether portal and we flew a ridiculous amount and just randomly spawned somewhere. And I will take you guys there in a moment. Yeah, we had a little nether portal room we were going to start working on and everything. Ah ha ha! Let me through! Thank you. We had quite a bit of mats, except for ores and whatnot. Which, we use so much iron. But here is the farm. Pigs were getting out, and they weren't getting in the cart. So, shame on them. But anyway, quick review of the, uh, the creative side of things. Um, here is my, I don't know if I, you, I showed you guys the tree farm or not, but I was working on a tree farm, and what I did was I took and put all of the trees, like every, you know, the, their maximum, of the, what is it, every four blocks, I think. Uh, yeah, that, that was their thing, so I just pretty much put everything cobblestone, except for the dirt blocks, so that when you took it, all you, that was the only place you could put it, so it just made sense. I am just started to make a place. I believe, I believe this is Jess. There's some interesting little stuff there. She made a glass dome. Testificate. A little backyard area, which is actually kind of cool. Like this cool little glass dome thing, which actually looks kind of cool. I was like, what is this? Then Dan started working on the Tower of Sauron, which actually looks pretty baller. And this is obviously post us saying hey. Come on. There we go. Post us saying hey. So, he was building this. I was looking at it. It was actually really sweet. It's really cool looking. Way up there. And then I was, I started working on a giant island. Not a giant, but I was going to expand upon the island up there. I was inspired. And what is this? What do... Oh dear. Oh dear. And for people who wanted to get up here normally and down, I made a little waterfall and see what's up. What? What? Okay, that works. Do, 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 do. And then there was water going all over the place. So I decided, oh, I'll just make a, this little interesting stair well area, which kind of worked out. Kind of. So I think that's kind of cool. 
and we had a giant rail system, which is kind of cool. Uh, when we were finding those other spider spawners and whatnot, uh, the ones over here, way over there, when we decided that we didn't know where the hell we were because we explored way too much, it was after the giant exploration episode. We did. Now this part was legit. Right here, starting here, we did snow blocks because we had the, we had the snow generator. We had a bunch of rails and stuff. Everything was legit. This one, this part isn't legit, but this one was. We made like this giant, giant roadway of gravel, and I followed over with the snow and the rails. But we had a train station, which was going on and whatnot. So we've decided that this is our testing area. Somebody having fun with dirt, apparently. But, right, well, this is the creative side of things. And now, I know you guys are going to be like, well, we, the legit thing, and uh, 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 and all that other fun stuff. You guys can just go creative mode and whatnot. Well, I made some rules, because I really wanted us to be a legit server. So what I did was I made up some rules that since everything was just so far away I decided to get a a teleport or a warp point uh, mod for the server which I thought made sense at least to me anyway because we have a couple things that we get to and like if I type slash warp list we have a bunch of a bunch of warp stuff. I'm not sure what some of these are. Uh, the island I know is my island up there and whatnot. But so we're gonna warp to legit. Now the rule here is is that you have to get rid of everything. Like you have to, if you have something here, you have to drag it back in from creative mode. As soon as you get here, you cannot bring anything from the creative side over. And if you do, I actually want to really, really enforce this. It's not mine, is it? No, it's not. I really want to enforce this because I do enjoy the legit gameplay. I know I haven't been playing it much recently. Okay, that's not mine. That's Tori's. I haven't been playing as much recently. Just other things and whatnot. But... I I don't want to. I know a lot of people enjoy watching Minecraft series that are just straight legit because it's more fun and more rewarding when you actually go through and do the work and do stuff. Yeah, it's fun to dick around and just kind of build just random obscene things and just do some pretty cool things and whatnot. But yeah, it's it's fun. But anyway, you saw the coordinates before. This is where we got put like four thousand and whatnot, 5,000 blocks away. But yes, that is legit. We, uh... Yeah. Is it, yeah. Racism, oh no. Um... But... So this came over here because apparently this was the generator from between 1 point... Er, yeah. 1.1 whatever to 1 point... 1 point 1.2 with the jungle biomes and whatnot. I got up here, and that, that that little hole over there was where some uh, coal was. Mm, excuse me, but it came over here near this. Actually, not too far away from this, and I found this little mountain thing. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make a little underground thing. So this is actually kind of a little difficult to find, depending on the time of day. This is my little area. I have a bed, some cake that Tori gave me, and this is all my stuff. A lot of this is my dump chest for when I go over to the creative side, which I normally just do it for testing and whatnot. And what else is there? Uh, we have a nice little mine shaft and whatnot, and you guys saw a lot of the, the um, some of the things that we've done thus far. But we have uh, Tori, who is Jess's little sister. And she loves Minecraft. She has a great time with Minecraft. So she started playing over here and whatnot. And she found her way over here. And I pretty much told her, hey, 
has to be legit. So she's, she's, I think she's like eight or nine. Um, she was doing some pretty cool things, actually. And the spider spawner that we found last episode, episode 22, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Now I'm getting lost because I don't come down here ever. So 22. Ah, over here. All right, now I am in creative mode right now. I just want to show you guys this thing. So, case spider one. This cool little warp thing. Anyway, so we have this cool spider spawner that I've been working on. Uh, it took me a little bit and it was interesting, but. So, here's a spider spawner right here. The water flows down, goes all the way down to this one thing. Like, it's the one little channel, which is right underneath there. That's where you stand, where they spawn. Alright. And then what happens is they follow through. But I was dumb when I made this thing, so I actually have to go through and modify this thing. But anyway, so the gist of it pretty much is, you pull the lever. This is the one-hit spider spawner. You pull the lever. The bottom one. It's. I didn't fix it right, but anyway. So the gist of it, I I need to fix it and lower things down and just do a little bit more testing. But the gist of it is, is that the bottom one, you pull the lever down, and the bottom one is down, just completely down until you pull it back up. But the top one goes for all these all these repeaters, There's a bunch of repeaters it goes through and it I think it's like 14 or something like that, I'm not sure uh, there's there's a video that I found, a really nice tutorial and what that does is it pretty much, they both turn this on immediately and then after it goes all the way through the repeater which is like 5 seconds or whatever it is this one retracts and they're down to one hit and then I can do whatever the hell I want. No. Nope. But of course since it's on multiplayer it's being really weird. So anyway, that's the gist of the spider spawner. It's very weird. I love how absolutely terrible Yes, I'm doing this. Oh shit. Easy enough. So there we go. Where? Shit. See, that's why I don't do things on creative. Anyway, so that is the that's the spider spawner we have, and also, um, Andrew has this little area. But next time we do an episode, which I'm not sure, like we've been, we, I don't want to. I do love Minecraft, but recently we haven't been really into Minecraft, and I know it kind of sucks and whatnot. But, because I know you guys enjoy the videos, and I know you, I have some people who watch all my videos, and I, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, but, I'm working on, I'm actually going to do it this time. I'm working on some, well, balls. <clears throat> I'm actually going to start working on some StarCraft stuff. And maybe other games and whatnot. Um, I'm going to be trying out casting for the MISL, which is the Michigan Star League. I'm not sure if the I is just for MI, or I'm pretty sure it is. But anyway, so we have the, the Michigan Star League. I'm going to start casting for that. And I'm also going to do a, since I failed quite a bit when I started playing again uh, the past week or so, I'm back in bronze. Which sucks, but it's an opportunity for me to start fresh. I'm starting to play Terran now because I have a lot of fun with it. And uh, we had our LAN uh, the other day. Yesterday, in fact, uh, Saturday on St. Patrick's Day, which was super awesome and super fun. We had a great time. It was from 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. Lots of shenanigans were had. And so that's pretty much what's been going on. So... Hopefully within the next couple days, or within this week, I will be able to get another episode with Andrew so we can show off his place, because I would really like for him to actually be here. Part of this, because it is his place, and him and uh, Amanda have been doing a lot of things with it, I believe.
because Amanda loves playing this game too. So, uh, but if I don't get anything out by Thursday or Friday morning, then nothing is going to be happening until the following week because Friday morning, bright and early, me and a bunch of the guys from the SC2 Grand Rapids group, there's like eight or ten of us or something like that, we are going to MLG Columbus to hang out and have a good weekend. I think uh, one or two of us are competing. So that's going to be a great time. Uh, but that's it for now. Um, I'm actually going to start doing some commentating, like I said, and I'm going to try and find a good format for me to do it. It's gonna, I think I'm going to... It's my going for gold. I'm going to call it the going for gold series. I'm like mid the top bronze right now, and I was having fun, and I gotten some pretty decent, you know, I want to say compliments on my Terran play. But, alright. So, if you guys want more Minecraft vids, which I know you always do, um, just holler. Let me know. I will do what I can to get some stuff out, but I don't want to, I, lately I haven't really been feeling it as much, and, but, I mean, I know that's what you guys like, which kind of puts me in a predicament, because I want to play games to have fun, but I also want to put out content, I enjoy putting out content, but I know you guys are here for a couple, you know, certain things, but I mean, have an open mind, and until next time, I will see you guys later.